Hey y'all, so I'm here to share with you guys this product that I use for this bomb twist out. I'm like loving this twist out a whole lot. I haven't had a bomb twist out like in a very long time. I haven't found a cream that really can like deal with my hair. It's like annoying. But anyway, I ran across this cream by Mazzani. It's a hairdressing butter rich daily cream. I bought this cream about a month ago because a lady at my job wanted me to do her hair. So we set up a day. I bought this cream on my way over there. When I got there, I started doing her hair. Now her hair is half damaged and half healthy. And I say that because the top part is damaged, but the back is really healthy. So I was a little worried about the top part with this product because, you know, with damaged hair, sometimes things just doesn't work well together. So I used the product, and after I was done, while I was separating, I saw flakes. I'm like, oh my God, why, 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 why? I felt so bad, I was sad after I left, and I just was like, damn, I spent $12.99 on this product, and I can't even use it properly. So anyway, the top part had flakes, but the back part didn't. So I was like, Maybe it's because her hair is a little damaged. So I use this product. No flakes. Good definition. And bomb results. So I wanted to share with you guys this product. If you haven't used this product or you haven't used the Mazzani line, period. Try it out. It, this one is called the Hairdressing. Well, it's called Mazzani Hairdress Butter Rich Daily Cream. Try it out, y'all, and let me know if it does really good with your hair. It cost me $12.99 at my beauty supply store. I don't know if it would be cheaper or more, but give it a try. It's an 8-ounce bottle, and let me know, like I said, down below what your results was and if you like the product. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. I do want to give you guys a close-up of these curls. Um, Yeah, they are popping. Did a little flat twist on the side and you'll see that. Um, I was trying to put uh, some type of rhinestone uh, accessory there, but it just didn't work. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one. So I'm starting off with freshly washed, stretched, and semi blow dried hair. And I added a flat twist to the style and I'm starting that part in the front closer to my right. This part will curve around and it's going to end when I get closer to the middle of my head. And once I'm finished with that, I'm going to head straight into flat twisting. So first I'm going to spritz my hair with a little bit of water and then I'm going to pull out my detangling brush. I'm adding some of that Mazzani hair dressing butter rich cream and then I'm going to add some of the Mazzani twist coil and jelly and of course my favorite, some grapeseed oil. So of course you already know the flat twist is going to be starting from my face and then going towards the back. I'm also doing the flat twist going towards my left. Now that I'm almost finished flat twisting, I'm going to start two strand twisting and I'm starting with that bottom section first. I'm splitting each section into medium sizes. And I'm using the same products that I use for the flat twist. So the Butter Rich Mazzani product that I'm using, I want to tell you guys why I like it so much. One of the things I like about it a lot is that it's a very light product. It's not thick at all, which is good for me for someone that has low porosity hair. But it's so damn light that when you use it on your hair, it seems like you didn't use nothing at all. So because of that, you want to make sure that you don't use a lot. Another thing that is good about it is that it's not sticky, so you don't have to worry about all the stickiness on your hands and on your hair. And last but not least, one of the main reasons why I like the product is the fact that it's not only a daily moisturizing cream, but it is a cream that you can use for a twist out. And you know twist out is our signature style. So if you can have a daily cream and a cream that can give you great definition, you can't say nothing bad about that. That is a two for one deal. 
So I'm gonna just continue on two strand twisting and as you can see, I'm adding the medium gray perm bras to each flat twist and I'm only rolling them up halfway. Once I finish with this last perm rod, I'm going to show you guys how it look, and then I'm going to head off to bed. It's the next morning and I'm heading out, but first I'm going to grab some grapeseed oil and then start to unravel and separate. I am separating it where it wants to separate, but since I do like some frizz, I am going to separate each two strand twist multiple times but at the same time still trying to keep some definition there So at this point, I'm about halfway done separating my hair. And so far, everything is going good. I'm loving how my hair is feeling. My curls are bouncing back, which is a great thing because sometimes when I use daily products and I try to do a twist out, the curls don't really do any bouncing too much because that product is only for daily creaming. But this product is a totally different monster. It's taming my hair. It's laying my flyaways down. It's doing all of that good stuff that I mentioned earlier. Now that I'm closer to the front, I am separating my hair a little bit more just to give it more volume. And at the same time, I was thinking of different accessories that I can add to the flat twist on the side, but I didn't find one that went perfectly with this style. So instead, I'm just going to continue to unravel the rest of the twist that I have in the front and just unravel that flat twist halfway. Now that I have everything separated, I'm gonna first show you guys how it look, and then I'm gonna start to fluff. Fluff, fluff, fluff. This is the best part about twist outs, is fluffing it up, getting it really big, bold, and loud. And once I've done enough fluffing, I'm gonna grab a few bobby pins just to pin down the front a little bit to give it a little shape. And I'm also pin down that flat twist as well. Once I'm done pinning, I'm gonna look around for anything that needs to be fixed 
and then show you guys the final look. So that is about it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.